Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this webinar from X Right and Phoenix. It's now now it's now um, the time to start the broadcast. What we're just going to do is we're going to wait three or four minutes just for everybody to be able to get online. We've seen sometimes in these webinars that people come at the right time, but it can often be quite hard for them to get on um, due to internet connections and downloading software in the first instance. So please bear with us. We will start in three minutes and just everybody giving everybody time to get comfortable and, and get signed up. Thank you very much. So for anybody who's just joining, don't worry, you're not on mute. We're not speaking at the moment. We're just waiting for two minutes just and see if everybody can log in correctly. And then we'll start within two minutes. Thank you for your patience. Okay, I think we'll start. I think everybody who's here is now on and connected. So, good morning, good afternoon, and welcome to everybody. My name is Martin Hill. I'm sales manager for XRite, and with, together with Afsal and Pramod and Margot Zotter, who's with us from XRite in the backstage, we'd like to welcome you all to the first in this series of webinars with the XRite and Phoenix colourful cup of tea. Afsal. Would you like to explain to everybody about the series of webinars? Thank you very much to Martin and Margot uh, for organizing this webinar. Um, I can see still people joining the session. Um, I think if we can wait for two more minutes possibly and then, then go for what basically. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we have two more people. Yeah. So I I will uh, hey, thank you for the people who have joined on time. Really appreciate. But as uh, to make it uh, available for the other people who are going to attend, we are extending the time for another two three minutes, so they don't miss the initial stages. <clears throat> so 
so we'll uh, basically i think uh, yeah uh, we will start then as uh, martin you said so we'll go through the initial introduction and things and then i'm sure people will join the other people will join uh, over the next two three minutes can also see their important parts uh, good afternoon um, and good morning because we have people from um, i think uae and uh, saudi as well as uh, bahrain and qatar and kuwait uh, so uh, good morning and good afternoon to everyone because the time is little different for both these country for all these countries uh, it is our pleasure uh, to have you all in this webinar uh, xrite together with phoenix is happy to invite you for a series of four webinars which we will be conducting over the next one month period and they are titled as colorful cup of tea with xrite and phoenix in these seminars, uh, we intend to show you the tricks, tools, and applications which will make life easier for current and future users of X-Rite color measurement and color management solutions. I request you all as experts in the industry to join these sessions and understand these tips and tricks for helping you better in your operations. Uh, the four seminars which we'll be doing, one is that what we are doing today, how to maximize the use of exact. Uh, and then on 18th of May, we have how to prepare yourself for the brand owner's specifications. If you want to print for brand owners like PNG or Ulker or Nestle or all these Pepsi, etc. Uh, that seminar will be on May 18th. And then on June 1st, we have a seminar on how to modernize your ink kitchen. Uh, on the fourth one will be uh, how to modern, how to automate your press room in offset and flexibles using X-Rite Pro scanning solutions. Now I will hand over to Mr. Martin, who's a regional sales manager for X-Rite, to do an introduction about our partnership. Thank you, Thank Martin. you very much, Afsal. Thank you very much for the introduction. So I'm gonna just take you through this, uh, through this first one to, for the program that we're going to have today. So first of all, we'll have a, a little introduction uh, for myself and the history of um, collaboration and cooperation between X-Rite and Phoenix. Absal is then going to take you through a theoretical part um, of the use of the exact and then Pramod Haridasan, who is the technical expert um, with the exact, will take you through a live demonstration using the remote control from the uh, from the from the uh, exact manager software. We'll have time at the end for some questions and answers. Can I please ask, as everybody will be muted through the webinar, there is a chat function on the side in your control panel if you can please direct your questions into there we will answer a questions if we can at the end if we've got time if not Afsal and Pramod and the team at Phoenix will answer all your questions if they get unanswered um, afterwards because we'll have a whole transcript of everything that's written today so um, don't you don't feel like you have to raise your hand or speak in the middle just please simply write them in the chat uh, and if we get time to go through all the questions at the end, we will. If we don't, we will then get back to you um, within the next week. And then hopefully when we've finished, we can all sit down and have a nice cup of tea together. So you've heard about me. I'm Martin Hill. I'm the sales manager for UK, working closely with Afsal. We've got Pramod, who's a technical engineer. Uh, we've got Afsal, who's the director of, uh, of Phoenix. And I'll tell you a little bit more now about the history of X-Rite and Phoenix. So for more than 10 years now, X-Rite and Phoenix have got this long history of successful cooperation in the region. Now this success is built on X-Rite's superior products. We do make the best products for the color management world, but also we need to combine that with the technical excellence and sales excellence of the Phoenix team. Phoenix are the exclusive distributor for the complete range of X-Rite products in the region. And with, uh, with this unique feature, Phoenix are best placed to validate your current workflows and propose solutions that maximize value. This is not just about trying to sell you a box. These are solution products that people are selling to you, that the Phoenix are selling to you. Now, last year, as we know, COVID-19 changed the world and the way we have to do business together. For this reason, we've adopted the webinar approach, and we now call this distance education. Now, through this 
we can now respect the health of our customers and our colleagues i hope you like it it's a different way of working but it seems to work for all of us we've all adapted and we're all doing well and on behalf of xray and phoenix i want to thank you very much for your participation and i hope you get something out of this i will now pass it over to afsal to take you through the theoretical part of it thank you very much thank you thank you very much uh, martin i hope i'm clearly audible to everyone so uh, thank you very much martin uh, once again for uh, the nice introduction uh, it is always a pleasure to partner with x right team um, let me start with explaining some of the features of exact spectrophotometer which we'll be covering in our session today uh, and further my colleague mr pramod haridas who is an expert in spectral in the spectral uh, photometer will do the practical session um, exact comes in four versions which is the basic model the basic plus the standard and the advanced model basic and basic plus is for densitometry measurements and mostly used in commercial offset presses and sometimes in the press rooms Standard and advanced are the true spectrophotometers and recommended for packaging converters. And I'm sure most of you have it or are planning to have these spectrophotometers in your shop floor. And I think it's one of the must have devices in a print and packaging converting company. Devices come in four apertures such as 1.5 mm, 2 mm, 4 mm and 6 mm. The finer the screen rolling, please understand, the finer the screen rolling of printing, the smaller can be the aperture. And the smaller the aperture, the smaller can be the color patch that you have on the have for the measurements. I think Margot has, yeah, I think we have not had the slide when yeah. So I will repeat this slide again because i think the slide was not open when i was speaking is that correct martin yes that's right it's now showing up so yes yeah uh, sorry for that uh, once again um, let me start with explaining some of the features of exact which will be which we will be covering today in our session uh, so i'll be talking about the theoretical part and then further my colleague mr pramod who's an expert in the spectrophotometer will do the practical session uh, x right exact spectro comes in four versions, which is the basic model, the basic plus model, the standard, and the advanced. Basic and basic plus is for densitometry measurements and mostly used in commercial offset presses or in the press rooms sometimes. Standard and advanced are true spectrophotometers and recommended for packaging converters. The device comes in four apertures, which is 1.5 mm, 2 mm, 4 mm, and 6 mm. The finer the screen rolling, please uh, keep that in mind. The finer the screen rolling, the smaller can be the aperture. So please make sure you buy the right aperture for your measurements. And the smaller the aperture, the smaller can be the color patch. So let's say if you have a 175 LPI screen rolling, you can go for a 1.5 mm aperture. But if your screen rolling is lower than that, the more, like let's say 133, you would be recommended to have a 2 mm aperture but if you are in corrugated or something and if you have 65 lines per inch or something you will be recommended to have a 4 mm we have many more features in exact uh, and uh, for example we have a standard pantone library inside we have options to search for the closest pantones we have the metamerism index option we have a quick start mode and uh, a few other features and I think an exact spectrophotometer will be already with you in most of the cases and might be you're thinking to buy a new one. And I feel it's a must have device in any print and packaging company. Margot, can we move to the next slide, please? Thank you. So the exact has a quick start menu option by default and it is available if you have the latest firmware if you do not see this screen which is over here at the left extreme 
if you can contact us we can help you to upgrade the firmware on an online session this mode helps you to measure the density and tvi from uh, for a simple point and press uh, for a simple point and press density and tonal value or tonal value increase can be measured means you can measure the density and the dot gains or the tonal value increase uh, if you have any doubts about what is tonal value what is tonal value increase you can contact us after the session we can definitely explain you uh, the idea of the seminar today is to show you what are the different features the detailed sessions can be held privately for each of you when you need it you can contact us for that all density modes are supported along with the measurement of up to three tonal patches that means you can have a solid plus a 25 a 50 and 75 percent of the same color a data is displayed in easy to navigate display meaning all results are available without having to switch screens so that means you can see the sign density and its tonal values or the tvi or the dot games the magenta one and the yellow one and the black one once you measure all the four you can see it on the same screen by just by clicking a few buttons as you can see in the second uh, patch the second image over here which shows sign is 1.22 thank you and mago can you move to the next slide please We have a very nice feature, which you might be aware, uh, which is called the Easy Pantone Search. The exact is supplied with the latest standard Pantone V4 libraries. Hope you all have got the version 4 libraries, which is the standard libraries, which comes with the exact. If you do not have, please contact us. We can help you how to update it. Using the search functionality, it will instantly show the closest library color to any measured sample. And as I said earlier, please check the library you have. Is it version 4 or version 3? If it is 3, please update it to version 4. Alternate references. So let's say you have a sample from the customer. You can measure the sample and the device will immediately show with a Pantone search option, which is the closest Pantone to this sample that you measured. And also you can see the other closest Pantones to this particular sample for you to decide which one to choose with a Delta E. Uh, going on a, ascend, on a ascending order means the first one to show will be with a minimum delta E tolerance which will be let's say here in the second uh, image you can see it is 1.05 and the second option which is shown is almost a 3.04 delta E. So what we also suggest is when a customer comes to you and says my color is 145C please check and gives you a sample you can end up in a problem if you do not measure it and show him that your sample is not really a 145 it is a 7569c this has to be done before you start deciding which pantones to use in a particular job from the customer especially when you have a sample to match in the press graphical analysis also assists the operator to show whether the color is an acceptable match the third image over here shows that so it will guide you to tell whether the color is coming close to the target or where is it going is it going to the bluish red or is it going to the greenish yellow and or the lightness where is it moving so we will explain you in the demonstration or when we have more detail if you need a more detailed session we can organize it for you separately as well the next slide please we also have a full scan functionality with exact which might be of interest to you because today you are required to measure cyan magenta yellow black solids plus one or two pantones or three pantones and its tints by the brand owners imagine you have to do it in the qc department where you have to measure 10 samples of each job or you are in the press room at high uh, uh, if high pressure situation measuring six patches of solid plus three or two patches of of tones will take you quite some time to avoid this x right has got the scan functionality you can buy this functionality if you do not have it on your device you have to buy the scan chases and the scan uh, license plus uh, quality control software uh, the chases basically looks uh, it's a small uh, unit which can be fixed under with a wheel of the exact and uh, you have you can configure your own uh, color strips or you can use the standard color strips which are available so let's say if you look at the image at the bottom that shows it has got cmyk 
plus one Pantone or two Pantones with the tones of CMYK and the Pantones as well. So you can just drag the exact over the color patch and which will automatically display the values of the solids, LAB and the tonal values immediately on the quality control software which you can buy along with the scan solution. We will show you during the demo uh, this uh, function as well. So um, yeah, and uh, I request you to look at this option very, very uh, carefully and let us know if you are interested to have this upgrade done as well. The next slide, please. Yeah, this is a function which is a CMYK split for Pantone standards. The exact is supplied, as I mentioned earlier, with the Pantone V4 libraries. Also included with these libraries are extra metadata which can guide you to achieve color suitability. The CMYK builds are based on the offset print process. Please note that, that the standard libraries which come with exact is with reference to offset printing standards. And if you need specific library you have to go via the pantone live libraries which you might be aware if you're not aware you can contact us we can explain you i think at the moment a pantone live library has almost 38 libraries which is specific for a flexo uh, gravior offset on different types of material and different types of ink, process, ink uh, types also included in is the offset ink mix mixing recipe for coated boards if you require a spot color match using the pantone basic color blend scheme, same feature which you, the same feature is basically the one you see on a Pantone coated book, which you get physically. You will see the slide number three over here, where you can see how much percentage of uh, Pantone black and reflex blue and transparent white is required on a, to make a 431C. But please remember this is with reference to uh, the Pantone coated bo uh, boards. The next slide, please. Graphical display of color difference uh, in LAB or LCH can be demonstrated by the device. Uh, this, this is quite useful if you understand how to use it well. It will be shown in the presentation today by Pramod. But if you, it will require a little bit more of uh, knowledge to be transferred if you want to use it properly. We can have another session on that. But you will get an understanding of how it can help today. Uh, to, uh, this can be very useful in the ink room, especially, and in the press room as well. To analyze if the color is going towards a red or green or yellow to blue, a red to green or yellow to blue, and, and take corrective action. In case you need more details on how to analyze this, you can contact us, as I said earlier. Um, as today, we are focusing how to use, the, uh, how to show you what are the different possibilities with the device. Depending on the training or preference, displays can be in LAB or LCH format, which options to show with options to show delta A difference values as well. The L axis on top of the A and B, the L axis is also displayed alongside on the left you can see in the second image over here on the left side you of the second image you can see there is a l value and the center you can see the a and b displayed on the graphical uh, image the next slide please i think we jumped one slide if i'm not wrong i think we have to get the best match slide at the moment Yeah, thank you. Uh, this is one of the best functionalities of Exact, uh, the best match functionality. I hope most of you know it. If you do not know it, please let us know. We will be happy to train you on this uh, functionality as it is very useful in the press room and in the ink room. Using the integrated function of the device, when you measure a sample against a target, it will estimate whether a more acceptable color match is achievable by adjusting either coating weight or incorrect concentration means if you have a target a sample from the customer and you have printed on the press with the inks you have got you can use the best match function and it will tell you whether by increasing or decreasing the density or the concentration you can hit within the delta e tolerances that you have to achieve for example 
uh, if you uh, have a delta E, for example, if you look uh, at a, a sample and a target, if you have the best match says that the delta E at the moment is 4.86, it will also show you if you increase or decrease the density or the concentration, whether it can go below 2.5 delta E. So you do not have to waste time to, to fine tune this ink without knowing whether it can really reach the targets. That means if the ink is able to do within the delta E, it will tell you by the best match function. Otherwise, you have to go back to the ink room and reformulate the ink. So that's not to save, uh, lose time on the machine and um, lose time and material on the machine. Full white paper is also available by following the links, which we will show you at the end of the webinar. The next slide, please. Uh, this is uh, available in the advanced model of uh, exact today we are getting more and more inquiries from the flexible packaging and board uh, folding carton customers whether they whether they want to measure the paper whiteness yellowness and brightness or the opacity of the film uh, this will help you basically to check the quality of the incoming materials uh, whether the board it's a board or a film uh, with the help of an exact uh, you can measure the opacity with a uh, black and white Lenetta card. If you don't know what it is, we can help you to find what it is and tell you how to use that, measure the opacity. And paper indices are also used to check the incoming paper stocks for conformance to customer standards or to check if the correct level of optical brightness is being used. I think it's very important today, uh, especially for film uh, converters, flexible film converters, because they need to know what is the opacity of the films. And for folding carton converters to know the paper which they're getting to the press room is having the correct whiteness, brightness, and OBA content in it. Otherwise, there is a struggle to match a repeat job because the first set of boards or the films that you use have a different color or opacity compared to the new lot, and the press room will struggle to match the repeat jobs even. We will show you in the demo how to use this tool. And uh, uh, the next slide, please, Margo. With the exact, there is another option called the net profiler, which you can buy as an extra module. With the exact, this can be used to cal this can be used to check if your device is within the specification throughout the year and before it reaches the next calibration. This also has the capability to correct the device and to bring it to exact levels of the master unit at x right We recommend you to have net profiler if you do not have one. It is a verification and a corrective action tool for the device to be within the specifications. And if the instrument has drifted out of specification, a mathematical correction from the x right server is applied to your device via online connection and the process. Thank you very much, Margo. Uh, I will now hand over to Mr. Pramod Haridas, who's an engineer and an expert, expert in the exact spectrophotometer to do the demonstration live. Thank you. Pramod, over to you. Pramod, we cannot hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Yeah, yes, I can hear you. Good Thank morning, you. all. Yeah. Thank you, Absal and Martin, for sharing uh, these details and for the theory part. So, I would like to take you all through the practical side. You already Absal explained the theory part. So, I will uh, I will take you through the practical side. I will explain individual tools how it is working. So I would like to show you uh, the device, my device. I have my spectrophotometer with me. So I would like to show you my uh, device display. But the issue is I cannot show a display like this. So I will show it through Excite Manager. So I have a software called Excite Manager. And it's a free software. Uh, you can connect your device through um, Excite Manager. So here there's a feature called Remote Control. I can connect my device. So you can see the same display. Uh, this is, what, this is what the display I can see in my device, and uh, you can also see the same. 
So I would like to do a test because I, I just want to make sure that uh, the display is moving for you guys as well. So I will click on uh, multiple tools now. Uh, please, please, text, please type yes if you can see my display is moving. So you can make sure that you can see my screen. Well. Yes, I can see your so, screen. Okay, yeah. So I think I can see some, yes. I think all of you can see my screen. So I will start with a very uh, basic tool. So the very basic tool is density and uh, dot gain measurement tool. So this is what the tool, as it mentioned, it's a cube tool to measure CMYK density, as well as the dot gain values of multiple patches. To measure the dot gain, you just want to select this tool, just click this tool. So here you can see uh, the four color patches and uh, uh, the measurement area. So before beginning the measurement, you have to, you have to make sure your settings is right so go to the this arrow and in the settings we can find function settings so in the function settings you can select uh, the required data so i need a cmyk measurement if you have sport color you can add cmyk plus sport and uh, i need uh, my dot gain with the murray davis equation and i'm selecting tonal value increase because I want to see the dot gain. So I have a printed sample with me. So I will measure. So I have a printed sample with me. So I will measure these patches and I will show you how it is working. So first of all, the device is asking us to measure the paper patch. I will measure the paper patch first. So you will get a message, paper is measured. So measure solid patch now. So I'm going to measure solid patch. So if it is a CMYK, you don't want to bother about the selection of uh, say and magenta, it will detect automatically. So here I'm measuring a color. So the color was cyan and it is detected automatically. So measuring the other solid patch. So it's magenta detected uh, automatically. In this same way you can measure all the colors and it will give you the density details in a single window. So the advantage is you don't want to move into different windows to check the density of each colors or the dot gain. In a single window, you can see all the colors. Now I will measure some dot gain patches. So you can see the dot gain patches of 75%. It is automatically detecting the pattern. So if you, if you are printed 40 or 80 pairs, you can change this 75, 50 instead of uh, 40 and 80. You can change it into your requirements. So there are, uh, we can make customization and you can uh, arrange these values based on your patch. So I measured uh, three patches and I can see the dot gain values. So the same way, just click on other colors, you can see the values of other colors as well. So I think hope you all get all clear with this tool. Uh, if you have any doubt, there is a, a chat window on the right side. You can you can type your questions there. We will we will come with the answer on the end of this session. So I will take you to the other tool now. So just click home button to exit with, with, with this tool. So other tools are coming under enhanced window. I'm selecting enhanced window. Just click on enhanced window so we can go to the other tools. So I would like to show you first uh, tool is Easy Pantone Search. So most of you guys are familiar with Easy Pantone Search. Anyway, I will explain the procedure, how it is working and the benefits. So to search Easy Pantone, just click on search tool. I have a sample, uh, I will show you a sample. Like, I have a sample like this from a customer and it's printed on outside. I don't know which Pantone number they maintain. In this case, if you want to find out the Pantone number, you can simply measure and search the Pantone number. So this is a quoted paper. So I would like to select quoted library, Pantone library. So click on this and select uh, library. I'm selected quoted B4 library. So I just want to know which Pantone number is near with the uh, Pantone quoted library. So just click back. You can uh, first, you need to measure the paper or white area of the uh, sample. 
which you have. So measure the weight. Now we can measure the patch. So it is so just showing the Pantone is nearest to uh, the printed color is nearest to Pantone reference 7737. So this is the nearest Pantone with the delta of 1.29. So it is exactly tried to match this Pantone. So you can share these details with the in-groom or with the designer to use this Pantone number. So in-groom person also getting a reference with the Pantone label. So if you click on these uh, two buttons, click this, you can see uh, the do uh, delta E of other nearest colors. So the nearest color is 7737 and the other nearest is 4212. It is far and so the only nearest color is 7737 because the delta is 7.92. You can see uh, the other nearest colors if you scroll up. So this way we can identify. Sometimes what is happening is maybe they are printed in other number and you will get a different number, which means the closest Pantone is uh, this number, the, refer the first one, and the other one is the next nearest Pantone. It's a very simple tool to find out the uh, Pantone number. There are many other Pantone libraries you can load, Pantone live libraries or custom libraries you can load instead of the standard. So it will tell you the closest color with the Pantone live or the custom label. So we will take you on uh, other tool now. So the same way, if you have any doubt with this tool, just uh, put a message on the chat window. We will come back with the answer. So next I would like to show you a uh, best match tool. Best match tool and the function of best match. So the best match you can open basic compare. You can find best match tool inside the basic compare window. So here uh, to compare a colors, first of all, I want to use a target. So I would like to measure my target. So I will print it with me. I'm measuring my target. I have measured my target. So you can see that this is what the measured target. So now I need to measure my sample. So always before measurement sample, you have to measure the substrate area of the sample. So I measure the substrate now. Now I will measure the patch. So here you can see that the printed sample is delta I of 3.60. So the delta I 3.60 is not an acceptable range, but it is showing a best match. If you increase the concentration of this E, you will get a delta I of 0 0.14. This indicating your ink made is, ink recipe is fine. You just want to increase the density only. So this correction, you can then on your machine. If it is a flux, so uh, you can add a few brushing or you can uh, change the analogs. If it is an offset, you can just simply feed the ink more. So you will get a better delta. I. So you don't want to do any correction with the ink. So in a first printed sheet, you will get an idea about your ink recipe. So this is a very useful tool in the production. You don't want to waste time for ink. If it is not showing any best match, just simply uh, mix the ink again. Because otherwise, you will not get a best match with the person ink. In this case, this ink is okay to proceed you will just want to increase the density only so here uh, this kind of judgment we can uh, analyze by a graphical view as well if you click on this symbol you can see the graphical representation of this color so this black is the black ring is detect, uh, detecting is showing the exact spot of the color this is the actual spot of this color were located in the Mm, spectral color space, LAB color space. If you click on this different symbol, this is a different symbol. You can see that best match and the best match is the uh, green ring in the center, and this is what our color. So if you increase your red, and if you reduce, if you reduce your L value, you will get this value. So it is showing with this ink, you will get a very good. Uh, result that's why it is showing in the center if it is showing somewhere in the left or right which means the best match is not uh, 
very close to your standard but in this case it is very close to your standard and you will get a very good result using this in so this is what the best match graph so other example now i did a measurement of sample if you have a pantone reference for example your client is giving a pantone reference to you for example pantone 24a so you can simply select target as pantone 24a to select target just go to this button and select the pantone library from this book symbol so i'm selecting solid coated so click on this area the ink name area click this area and you can search the pantone number so my pantone number is 248 this is what my target i have just said type 248 and then just search so once you search you can find a uh, 248 in this list you can find other 248 uh, we said 248 that's why 3248 is in the uh, list so our target is 248 just simply select click on that and you can select that semi so when you select the pantone reference number there is an additional uh, slide to get the information if you click on this this button you will get the approximate the uh, recipe that they use for mixing this color so this will be a reference for your ink group if you if you do not have a ink formulation system you can use this as a reference as an initial reference for the color mixing so the entire pantone library is loaded into the device and you can analyze the values in this way and you can see that here there are multiple dots in the bottom side if you swipe into the right side you can see the uh, cmyk component and the uh, lab value under various filter so this will be very useful to find out the color under various filter so this way you can analyze your pantone so now i have selected my pantone number 248 as standard so i can measure my sample directly so with respect to my pantone reference number the printed sample is 1.63 delta i and it is showing this is the best you can achieve with this thing that's why it is not showing any recommendation over here so if you swipe on to the next window of this tool you can find the lab values so in this lab value here you can see the sample lab and when you click on this button you can see the pantone reference lab the same way in this tool also there is a graphical representation of uh, color so if you click on this symbol you can see the lab representation this is the actual spot of the color and if you click on the difference so this is a recommended correction so you have to uh, you have to go more bluish and you have to go little reddish they have to increase your l value i mean the you have to make it darker the l value so this way you can judge a color graphically So you can uh, put any uh, if you have any questions i'm repeating you can uh, type those questions in the chat window on the right side so we will analyze that we will come back with the answer on the end of this session so in the uh, i will go to the other uh, tools so this is a very uh, important tool it's called a metamorism metamorism tool so this is mostly used case in the uh, ink room if you made a ink 248 for example here the reference is here 248 and your metamorism value will be like this this is this metamorism one metamorism index one metamorism index two and metamorism index three this indicating different lamp source at the, at the same time you can use three lamp source to check the metamorism you can change the lamp source simply by clicking this arrow and go to settings then you can find function settings in the bottom and where you can see the metamorism tab just click on metamorism tab and you can select the lamp whatever you want so mostly this lamp selection is based on the product if it is a, a product you are displaying in a hypermarket you can use uh, 
F11, that is TL84 tubal 8, which is used in the hypermarket. And most in, this is A indicating home light. So this way you can select the lamp and you can measure the color. So in this window, it is showing if you bring this color in a F11 or F2 condition, there is a difference in the color. There should be there will be a difference in the appearance. So if if this difference above 1.5 which means it is not acceptable. You have to consider a better recipe. So in this case, uh, under these slides, it is quite okay. It is below one. But here, there is a slightly high metabolism in this area. If it is uh, above two, you cannot, anyway, you cannot use this key. So it is giving a prediction under various lights. A very useful tool for a QC and Inguru and other brand owners as well because they can see how the, their color appear in under the places five minutes so, from five, five minutes if that's okay then we can uh, yeah. take some questions at the end thank you uh, martin for the email so uh, there are uh, many other tools uh, so you can directly measure the right oba of your paper just select this tool and measure the paper it will show you the oba content and the other tool is paper indices. So it will, uh, if you measure a paper, it will tell you the paper yellowness and the whiteness and brightness of the paper. This is a useful tool for the QC and for the incoming inspection of material because we can see that many of the material color shifting from batch to batch. So we can measure these values and we can record it. We can analyze the supplier behavior and the stability. So other tool is opacity. To measure opacity, we need a Laneta card. Laneta card or reference card. This is what a reference card. You can see white and black patch on the paper. So if you have any uh, material or ink to measure the opacity, if you have ink, just take a roll on over this and measure it. If you have film, just keep over this and measure it. So for example, if you want to measure the opacity, you can print like this. You can measure on the black first. You can measure on the white. I will show you how it is. I will measure on black first. Then I will measure on white. So it will give you the opacity of the ink. This way you can measure the opacity. So now I will show you some uh, other important like uh, features in the exact manager. So here, uh, I almost covered the tools explained by Axel. Now I will tell you some more other uh, features. So here, uh, I'm just exit from my remote view. And you can see this is a uh, window of X-Rate Manager. X-Rate Exact Manager. Here you will get free Pantone live library of V4, the latest master samples. Go to preference and you can enter, just enter default. Default, and you don't want to put any password. Just keep the server as a Pantone layer. Just click OK. Then go to uh, subscribe to Pantone layer library. You will find the V4 latest version of quoted and quoted neon pastels. So this is uh, free and you can just simply subscribe. You will get those libraries in this list. And you can drag and drop those libraries into your device. For example, I will, there's a custom library of Phoenix. I just drag and drop into my device which is loaded to my device. Now you can check that library on your device. Now you can see that library on your device. So here, uh, if I open my device, I can see the library Phoenix inside my device. This way you can load all the libraries, all the uh, Pantone Live libraries. If you want to use custom Pantone Live library, you have to use uh, you have to purchase the Pantone Live license. So I've done with uh, Excel. I will show you a quick tool of data measure. This is a tool used for uh, measure the to scan with Excel. So this is what the scan base. So you can use the scan base to measure the pattern. So just simply uh, hold this target window instead, then just log this with the scan base. So I have a patch. I have a patch here. Scan patch. So I have a patch of 8 mm width. 
So I'm connecting with connecting my device. It's connected. So I have a patch with 8 mm bit and I have 15 uh, patches. So just we can measure, we can scan that simply. So I'm measuring the paper first. So now I'm going to do the scan. I'm just starting. So I'm scanning now. So this scan result you can see in the window. This is a free software. So if you want to compare two colors, you have to use it. Uh, other software like color set and color IQC, like those kind of software. This software is exactly free to measure the to scan. So that's it. I'm expecting some questions on the uh, chat window. So Thank you very much. Before, that was excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Martin. Uh, before we start with the uh, with answering your questions, um, in, on behalf of Phoenix, please let me share with you some questions polls on your screen. I hope uh, they will appear here. And Phoenix asks you simply to answer your the questions with yes or no uh, we have three questions to you when you when you answer with yes or no your your answer will um, appear here and um, i will give you some seconds i gave you some seconds to <clears throat> Second question. I'll give you some time to answer. Not everybody answered. Okay, and the last question. Let you some more minutes because answer is still coming. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for, for voting, for answering our questions. And um, Martin will read some of your questions and will answer uh, your questions which we got on chat. Thank you, Margot. Um, I'm actually not seeing any questions from anybody this morning, uh, uh, this afternoon. Are, we, uh, are there any questions anybody wants to ask? Particularly, if you put it in the in the chat now, we've got a, we've just got five minutes left. Yeah, we have a question here. Uh, there is a question. Um, we had an advanced spectrophotometer, but notice that we do not have features for the opacity testing. We do not have the exact um, control or key control software. Can you um, enlighten us um, further on this? How do you do we get the net profile as well? And okay, more? I, I think uh, we can get uh, the serial number. You can send us your serial number by email. Uh, we will share the email address over here if you want. 
or if you know us, you can send us your serial number of the device. We can check if that device is an advanced version. And if it is an advanced version, we can arrange a training session for you to understand how to use these features. And uh, the Inky control software is an additional module. We can also offer you the same. Uh, so please uh, send us an email if you have uh, any further question the email address is written on the side of the chat you can take a note of that ask it and the net profile yeah, also is an additional module which you can procure but you will get this question you can answer it directly and there yeah. is one more question uh more so can you kindly share uh, that link in your uh, last presentation for sure we will we will share the presentation in pdf mode to you and how to measure the two overprinted Canton inks in the same place. Can somebody answer this question? I, it is it is a function which is which is included in uh, in exact the name of this, um, of this function is um, trapping, and if you if you choose the trapping function and uh, the ink number one. In number two, and you can also measure to overprint the trapping. It is um, which knows how the ink one accepts the ink to print it on it, and it is also possible to uh, to measure color on the overprint and print as a color as well. But um, if it's not enough as answer for you, please come back to Phoenix and uh, Phoenix will answer. You can also send these questions to the email address. Uh, we can say you separately or do an online session for you. Yep, already got the serial number. I will share with you the serial number of the exact. Okay. Do you have some more questions? Okay. If uh, if some more questions will appear, um, Phoenix will answer your questions for sure. You can contact directly with Phoenix. The recording of this session will be available for you also on the x website. You can come back to it and uh, take a look on it again. But I think the Phoenix is also the best address to contact to, to ask some more questions. Uh, Martin, can you and Absal, can you summarize? Yes. Yeah. So, thank you very much, Margot. Um, I would like to emphasize once more, extra exact is a very useful tool to use across your printing process and your material procurement process. I know it is used to a good extent in the press room and in the room, uh, but if you think still you need to know more, you can contact us to the email address we can help you by training uh, i all i feel always we miss out in the printing companies we miss out measuring the paperboard and the films to ensure that they are coming with consistent quality um, we would request you to uh, define your specifications for paperboard and films and inks and have random checks when these material come to your company to ensure that you're getting the right quality and that which is with reference to the profiling data you gave to your pre-press. If you need more details on how to do these or you want to generate an SOP or guidance, please do contact us. We will be happy to assist you. Thank you and over to you, Martin. Thank you, Afsal. Yes, and on behalf of x -Ride and Phoenix, I want to thank you very much for your participation. I hope you've got something out of today's session. Don't forget, we've got three more sessions coming up. As Afsal said before, you'll be getting uh, you'll be getting chances to register for all the other ones. But hopefully, you'll find that today is useful, uh, and you'll come back to us uh, for some more of this this education and um, and and insights into what we can do for your business. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you again. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, all for the for attending this session so like Absal said uh, we we need you guys have to utilize all these tools so we are always happy to help you on those tools 
and it's very uh, helpful tools and it will help definitely help your production speed and other benefits it will give. Thank you all. Thank you everyone.